Welcome back to Central Valley Talk, where we celebrate what's good about Fresno. Hey, it's that time of year. Elections are coming up. People are campaigning, getting to run for office. Uh, I saw that there's an office of mayor open. Uh, people can file and register to run for mayor, or they can be a writing candidate for mayor. And we saw this guy out in front of our, our studios here in the Tower District uh, today holding up a sign saying he's running for mayor. So I said, go down there and get that guy on our show. And his name is Steve Diddy. Welcome, Steve. Thank you, Mike. It's been Glad a while. To have you. Good to see I know. You again. We used to see you. Can I say where you used to work? Sure, yeah, sure. I used to listen to him on the uh, uh, the radio, KMJ. Uh, I'm sorry, not KMJ. KMPH mm -hmm. radio. I think it's 1.75 FM. You got it. Uh, Harry Pappas owned it, I think. That's right. Around then. And did, uh, they had the TV, too. Did you do some of the TV side? Yeah, I did mostly radio um, and then uh, filled in on the weekends for TV mm -hmm. and various assignments. Now, yeah. uh, is it time for a new mayor in Fresno? I think so. Um, you know, Dyer uh, has some ideas, but I don't think a lot of them are original ideas uh, for Fresno. And I have spoken in front of city council chambers many times over the last year and a half yeah. with the idea, okay, in the back of my mind, maybe running for mayor with some original ideas. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, now, I bet we couldn't go out there and meet anybody who didn't say, Fresno has some problems that need to be fixed. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of them. Oh, yeah. What are the big ones? Well, first on my um, list, of course, would be air quality. Mm -hmm. And my two, I think, original ideas for that are just like when you get a credit card or a debit card and you build up flight miles. Mm -hmm. It would be going to have work with gas stations here in town. I don't think this has been done in any city in United States I've heard of, but work with gas stations, have them provide debit cards that you can purchase, and each gasoline purchase you make, you build up points or credits towards a future purchase of an uh, electric vehicle. Oh, nice. So you would bank it. It's like a kind of a reward? Yeah. So, it's like, so people see, oh, I'm wasting all this money on gas, and I wish I had an SUV, I mean an EV. Mm -hmm. And not everyone wants an EV, but because of the technology and not really up to par yet but once it gets more developed i think more people will want evs and we all bring the same air we all breathe the same air basically well one reason most of us don't buy an electric vehicle is the cost yeah so your proposal would help us kind of build up those credits yeah. and points yeah. so you're not just burning off all that gas and you never see a return on it and mm -hmm. the other idea i have for improving the air quality in fresno is um, a moratorium on any further drive-throughs. No new drive-throughs. All kinds of drive-throughs have been because opening up. Because they pull up, they just sit there with their car running. Yeah, the idling uh, idling cars are one of the main sources of pollution in Fresno. You know, when I served in the legislature in Sacramento, in fact, I think you interviewed me once in Sacramento mm -hmm. when I was mm -hmm. doing that, there was no drive-throughs there. Yeah, way back, the time, yeah, in 20, exactly. 25 years ago. I don't know if there are now, but in those mm -hmm. days there were not. So, yeah. And you didn't miss them because you didn't have them. Mm -hmm. So... What else? Uh, do you notice any homeless problem or crime problem? Well, uh, as far as the homeless uh, issue, I have a proposal for that. It's called uh, VTS, uh, Voluntary Triage Facility and Services. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the emergency rooms here in Fresno at the two major hospitals are a lot, often inundated with all kinds of uh, individuals. And if there was a specific homeless facility mm -hmm. with a triage just modeled after an emergency room to take care of their needs, maybe mental health needs, physical health needs, housing, um, uh, clothing, all the basics. And it would be totally voluntary, not this uh, conservatorship system mm -hmm. where um, people would be going out as a team and corralling people off the street. It'd be like, are you tired of being on the street? Basically asking them the question, um, and would you want services like this and make it voluntary? Make it voluntary, yeah. yeah. Um, in fact, maybe they would like those services now, but they don't know where to go. But you're saying have a center, a place where they can Yeah, go. a facility um, for, for them specifically. Right, right. Yeah. What are the other big problems? Air well, oh, taxes. Taxes. Oh, taxes is a big issue. Uh, a lot of people in, around the United States and not just Fresno Field are overtaxed. So my proposal is... If I am elected mayor as a write-in candidate on March 5th, mm -hmm. then uh, give residents a choice. Either you pay your municipal taxes or you pay sales taxes when you make a purchase. Mm -hmm. 
so you're not overburdened. Because it seems like it, it's a kind of a double jeopardy double, there. Double tax. Because you're and you're paying county taxes, state taxes, federal taxes. Locally, you are making purchases, and um, yeah, either municipal taxes or sales taxes, and yeah. give them the choice. Now you bring up a good point. I sort of uh, expounded on it earlier. You're running as a writing candidate for mayor. Yes. And anybody who gets a ballot in the city of Fresno, the sees the mayor's race on your ballot, I think you could write it in right there. Do you know much about that? Yes. Um, actually, this was a very, like I said be in the at the beginning of the interview, in the back of my mind, sitting in city council chambers the last year and a half, and often speaking about my ideas, in the back of my mind I thought, maybe I'll run for mayor. Mm-hmm. Um, it didn't work out the, before the deadline for me, just for various reasons, um, to, not, to uh, register as a candidate. Yeah. So uh, what I want to do is um, have uh, an opportunity to have people write my name in. And I did that spontaneously when I received my ballot Mm -hmm. in the mail. I wrote my name in as a candidate, and I thought, hey, I can start a campaign. This is going to be sort of like akin to cramming for a college term paper. Mm -hmm. We've got, what, 15, or less than 15 days until the election. But I think I can do that. When I was a, a student up at Washington State University, I often did that, and college students often do that. They cram for term papers. And if I just take it day by day and put together some sort of campaign uh, with based on original ideas, like here's a story. I was, I, I've been standing at street corners with my sign that mm-hmm. I made myself, and I was at Palm and Shaw yesterday where all the signs are lined up, yeah. The various candidates. And I had this spontaneous idea just to stand there with my sign. I'm like, mm-hmm. with my sign, and I'm see, I'm thinking, I'm saying to some drivers, I'm like, where are these guys? Yeah. What, where's the face with the – everyone knows what Dyer looks they like. They have signs and in the lawn. Fell, and Benefrel has but a with picture. with you, they had the candidate. They had the mayor, put, mayoral candidate standing right there on the corner. Yeah, I'm standing there, and you can see me who I, who I am and um, put a face with the, the name because there's a couple candidates that don't really have much name recognition that are on the ballot, of mm-hmm. course. But the and then I looked over at Dyer's sign and I'm like, saying to myself, Dyer has a slogan. Yeah. I need a slogan. Yeah, so slogan. here's here's the yeah here's the, here's slogan, the slogan I came up with. Here's my slogan for Steve Diddy's write-in campaign for mayor. It goes like this: skills and ingenuity for Fresno. Uh, by the way, uh, when a candidate runs, they have a ballot designation, like, you know, a, they're a carpenter or a, a, a chemist, whatever. How, how, what would you, your designation, if you were on the ballot, what, what would you call your current job? Freelance writer. Free, okay, freelance Yeah, writer. once I left KMPH. And uh, you, you're a journalist. You've been a journalist. Did you study yeah, that? I, I studied that, broadcast journalism in uh, college. My first job out of... Uh, College was as a news writer at KMPH News Radio. Nice. Where'd you go to college, by the way? Washington State. Oh, nice. Yeah. And did you apply? And is that what brought you to Fresno? Well, I'm originally from Fresno. Oh, I went I to Bullard High School. Nice. I uh, grew up here. My dad was a dentist here in town. Mm-hmm. He's retired now. Mm-hmm. And my mom, a uh, school librarian. So, yeah, I'm from Fresno, but I just circumstances led me up to uh, Washington State University. To go to college. I think it's great to go to college in another city. Yeah. And then come back to your hometown and do your work. Steve, we're about out of time. Any last thoughts? You say anything you want. You're welcome to say anything you like here. Well, I would just uh, ask voters um, to uh, think in their minds uh, some other, uh, consider some of my, I want to get in some of my other original ideas before okay. the time's out. Another one of my original ideas is uh, a marijuana sanctuary city status for Fresno. Mm-hmm. Uh, another one is uh, on the on the issue of uh, taxes. Um, I had one other one on taxes. What was it? Now on I'm the going off the cuff here. On the sanctuary <laughs> city, you would get all the marijuana smokers to come here, or no, no, not not bring them here, but have a sanctuary city city status for Fresno, where. Um, the feds or the police really can't do much about see, possession yeah. or growing it yourself. Yeah. Uh, akin to immigration, and I asked the question, does it work for immigration? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's very controversial. It's, it's, it's rather controversial, but I think marijuana sanctuary city status will take a lot of the burden off the police department I who see. should be focusing on the more insidious drugs out there like crystal meth, yep. 
crack cocaine and uh, some of the hallucinogen, hallucinogens out mm-hmm. there that are touted as this great therapy experience. Yep. So the, the, the cops really should be focusing on these insidious drugs and just leaving marijuana alone. And that's what marijuana sanctuary city status, I don't know how that would work. I would have to look into the law how they do it with immigration. Now we are really, we're past them. I could talk to you for a long time, Steve. Yeah. Steve. What, in fact, how many days till the election? Oh, let's see, do, let me do the math here. We got 12. About 12 days, yeah. yeah. So if you want to come back again and again, you know, we're happy to have you. Mm-hmm. And to be fair, anybody running for mayor or any office, we're here for you. You're welcome to come and be on our show. Steve mm-hmm. Diddy took us up on the offer. We appreciate you honor us, Steve Diddy. One more thing, I'm, yes, a, re- I'm a registered Republican. Okay. For the purpose of deciding, helping to decide the presidential race, I wanted to get involved with that. And I will be honest, when, I, when the election's over March 5th, I will go back to no party preference. Okay. Are you favoring a candidate in the presidential election? Or? I'm leaning towards Nikki Haley right now. Nikki Haley? Okay, yeah. very good. Very good. Our guest is Steve Diddy. Uh, he's been around Fresno for years, a reporter. He interviewed me in Sacramento when I was in the legislature. I remember that well. Well, not that great, but it's been a long time, Steve. But mm-hmm. we appreciate your time and coming on our show. And we'll be back with more uh, Central Valley Talk right after this.